Hi guys, welcome to MML Motorhouse, and today we've got a video tour of the Jaguar XF. Um, stunning car, it's the diesel, it's the R Sport design, and it's a really lovely car. It looks fantastic in the white, loads of spec on it, absolutely beautiful car, we've just got it into stock. We've done a few bits of prep to it already, we've got a few more bits to go, but uh, yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick video tour. What I'll do, I'll give you a wander around the car once, uh, then we'll go back around it for a second time, just in a little bit more detail, uh, just run through the spec, any imperfections. Just finding these videos, you know, we say this a lot on our YouTube channel now, but we're just finding these videos super useful. Um, if you're looking like so many of our customers to buy a car from us online, with us delivering the car to you, then the video tour is really useful. It kind of gives you more, hopefully more sort of in-depth sort of understanding of the car, better look at it. Uh, that way, when the car turns up on the day of delivery, you can actually enjoy it. You know, you're not sort of panicked that Perhaps you've missed something from the photos. You know, you can't always rely on just those photos. And actually, it's just helpful to have this video tour. Um, equally, if you're sort of thinking of coming down to have a look at the car, sort of see it in person, take it for a test drive, then we'd love that. You know, we welcome that. And again, hopefully this video tour can just help you make a decision as to whether you want to commit your time and expense to travelling to see us. Uh, it might rule the car in, might rule it out. So, um, yeah, hopefully this is useful. Before I get into the main tour, um, just a quick one. All of our cars go through a 41 point health check of our technicians. Make sure they're absolutely safe and sound for the road. If they need anything, anything's picked up on those health checks, we do it. The cars come with a new service, it's come with a fresh service, uh, a new MOT. I'll just check the MOT on this. Unless it's kind of just recently been done, we tend to put a new MOT on it and it comes with a three month warranty that you can extend. So it's a lot of money to spend. We want you to spend it in confidence. You know you've got a warranty, uh, a new, if not very long, MOT, a new service, and a full health check. So that way you can just get the keys and enjoy it. So here we go, let's get into it. So absolutely stunning, it's done. I'll just check on the uh, speedometer when we get inside the car. I think it's done about 93,000 miles. Um, it really is gorgeous, it's in the white, it looks stunning. It's a really fresh looking XF. Um, and we're very, very pleased to have it here. Um, let's get into the tour. Let's start on the windscreen work, around the bonnet, then around the car. So if we just start up here on the windscreen, quite hard for you to see under the, the glary floodlights, uh, but very good. Um, no chips, no cracks, just having a really good look. Very, very small little chip there at the base of the screen, it's very minor, certainly not in the vision of the driver. It's not a MOT failure or even an advisory, so it's only minor, but it's worth pointing out. But other than that, lovely and clean on the windscreen, so not too bad at all. Coming down the front of the car, Boy, it's absolutely fantastic. I love the front of the, the XF. It really is a nice looking car, isn't it? Now, obviously this is a facelift XF. Um, it's sitting on a 2015 plate. So um, yeah, you've got the facelift. So you kind of got lots of different changes, but fundamentally you've got the smaller lights at the front. The older XF had slightly bigger lights at the front. We've got a little bit more going on in terms of the front grille and the splitters. So it is a facelift, which is really nice, but it's lovely and fresh. Got a gorgeous grille at the front. Now, we've had um, some prep work done to the lower valance. There's a few little scuffs on that, so we've had it all resprayed, and they've done a great job. We use a fantastic workshop, and they've done a, a really, really lovely job on it. So it's very, very clean at the front. Headlights there, we've got Xenin headlights with, and these are the big day running lights that run around here that are on all the time. They look fantastic. I think some of the stills in terms of the advertising have got those on, so do have a look at that, but they look fantastic. No water ingress in those whatsoever. Coming down the front of the car, really clean up. Saying to my colleague the other day, it's so clean on the front, there's barely any marks on that front bonnet. Um, in terms of stone chips, it really is looking so fresh down there. So, I mean, there's the very, I mean, the minor, minor, minor marks, but fundamentally very clean on the front. Got a lovely big scoop in the, in the bonnet. Passenger headlight, all good, no issues there at all, no water ingress. And then down here on the lower valance, this is what we've had um, repainted so lovely and fresh not a single mark on that obviously we've just had it done so really really clean front end of this car front parking sensors as well which is always always helpful we've got rear parking sensors and a camera at the back as well looking down the side of the car really straight no dings no dents shut lines are exactly where we want them to be so it's very good all our cars are hpi clear so if you want to see a copy of that do let us know car in general is in immaculate condition the only Criticism of this car, I'd say, is the alloys. They're a bit curved. Now, we've only just got the car back from the body shop. We want to get it on the market. But talk to us on the wheels, because I think, actually, if the wheels were refurbished, the car would be almost immaculate. So um, have a chat with us on that. It might be when you inquire about the car that we've already had them done. 
It might be that we can give you a discount to get them done. Or it might be if you say, look, I love, I love the alloys. I'm happy to have them redone in the same color. You might want them done in black or silver. We can tailor it to what you want. So just talk to us on that. But the alloys are probably my only point of criticism. We see quite a lot of curbing on those. So it'd be quite nice for us to get that done for somebody. Tires and brakes look good. Um, although they will be checked with our technicians in terms of is the tread good? Are they wearing well? Are the brakes good? How much life is in them? And if any of the answers to those are no, then we'll, we, we will replace them. But for a visual inspection, they all look pretty good indeed. Small details here. We've got these badges coming. See the R Sport? Um, just lost its sort of uh, green and red tag there. So we'll get new badges on the side. Just lift the, the side of the car. So that's not an issue. We'll do that. That'll just pick it up. But again, nice little vent there on the side. Wing mirror casing, very clean, no issues. Getting nice and close down here on the driver's door and it's absolutely fantastic. A few dirty marks there just from the, the, the drips outside. It's a bit rubbish weather here, but fundamentally very clean indeed. Keyless entry in the car, we've got two keys, but as long as you've got the keys on you, the door's open. Coming down the driver's door, really, really good. No issues at all. A little bit of a mark here and here, but I think to be honest, they'll probably just buff out. We've got two little marks on the paintwork there. They look like they might buff out, but just if they don't, you've got two little marks there, but I'm about half a foot away from the car. The minute you step away from it, you lose them straight away. But again, we want to show you everything. The whole purpose of this video is to be absolutely transparent. We want you to see what we're seeing. Rear door, lovely condition. You've got the color-coded side skirts along the bottom. Rear door, really good. No, no issues there at all. Got a little bit of a mark just there. Again, it might polish out. These white cars show everything up. So we'll just have a look and see if we can get that out. But it's a small mark there. Um, yeah, very, very good all the way along. No issues on that door whatsoever. Rear alloy, just again, like the drivers, just needs doing. That tyre's got a dot on it. If you look around the one o'clock mark or two o'clock mark, you see a yellow dot. So uh, it looks like the rear tyres are brand new. Um, so again, we'll just get the technicians to check that. But alloy, in my opinion, could do with a nice refurb. Coming around the rear of the car, I love the rear of the XF. Such a clean looking car, so, so nice at the back. You've got the one exhaust on it, rear reversing camera, LED lights, all very good. Just get you nice and close up here. The rear splitter, lovely condition, no issues at all. Just come down onto the rear bumper, very good. A little bit of a mark here, could probably be doing just being touched in, just a little bit of paint flecked away there. So we could always touch that in. I think that'll just hide that nicely, but other than that, the load shelf and the rear of the bumper, very clean indeed. And while I'm nice and low, I'll stay low and do the passenger side. Again, like the driver's side, nice and straight, no dings, no dents. Shut lines are where we want them to be. The rear quarter, very clean. I mean, the car has obviously been well looked after. I mean, other than the alloys, it is in immaculate condition. It's eight, nine years old now, and you wouldn't know it at all. Rear tire there, again, alloy just suffering so we'll get those done and again it'd be really nice to sort of see if we can possibly customize it for for someone and get it done exactly how you want it doing down the rear door lovely on the doors no issues at all nice and clean on the paintwork again i do love these side skirts they just dip out in the middle there they really do add something a little bit special to the car again being in our design you've got enhanced engine performance but you've also got quite a lot of trim going on and the color coded side still seals being one of those down on the door there really nice none's been clumsy none's knocked that into anything which is nice and again lovely and clean on the passenger's door wing mirror casing no issues at all little dead bug there which i will feel free to remove and just have a look there on the vent you can just see the r design uh the r sport sorry badge there needs doing so we'll get that taken care of no issues at all and then finally, front passenger's alloy, same story as the rest of them. But like I say, tyres look really good all the way around. So that's the outside of the Jag. I mean, fundamentally, other than the odd few marks here and there, um, it's looking really nice. Like I say, we've already discussed the alloys and the R Design badges, which we can get sorted. There's a small chip in the windscreen, but it's quite low in the windscreen. It's really, I don't think, an issue. Um, it's not getting any bigger. and certainly not going to be a, a problem in terms of sort of MOT. Inside, we've got the black uh, Alcantara and leather trim, which is lovely, really nice passenger seat over there. So you've got the Alcantara obviously in the middle with the leather trim on the outside, the red stitching. So a really nice seat, nice and clean on the passenger seat there. No rips, no tears, 
and over here onto the driver's seat, very good. Upper bolster, no issues at all. Lower bolster, really good, very good. I mean, you usually see a bit more wear on those, but that is looking very, very clean. And the actual seat base itself, no issues at all. You see that Alcantara wearing slightly, it does get a little bit of a shine appeal effect on it after a while, but no problems at all in terms of, you know, it's all there together. There's no rips in it or holes at all. Only what you'd expect to see. Well, we'll shut the door, let's get warm. So we've got, just before we get going, we've got two keys in the car, two main Jag keys. So keys in the car, foot on the brake, and then we're gonna fire it up. So quite nice with this, the little low battery, it has been sat for a while, so we'll just test the, the strength of that and obviously if it needs, excuse that, if it needs doing, we'll get that recharged, but I suspect it has been at a workshop for a while, just sat there, so uh, we'll just get that checked out. Um, quite nice here, we need to turn the air conditioning on all the vents open up so everything working well typical on these jags that sometimes they don't work but all four of them working perfectly so over here let's start on the main screen so we've got the typical jag like land rover uh, screen here um, i've got the red triangle on because the fuel's low in the car so obviously we need to get that done get some more fuel in it but in terms of audio you can connect your phone stream your music you've got, obviously got your dab stations and then normal fm Navigation's working well, I've just had it on for the photos. So there we go, Leighton Road in Salbury, if you wanna come and see us. Um, and then there's loads of other things you can mess around with. You know, there's, there's lots of different settings, but generally the functionality is working well on the screen. Pop it into reverse, you've got your camera working there, nice and clear. And the car's obviously behind. And coming down here, very, very good. Heated seats, so it's nice to have here. So we've got, uh, I don't think they're called yet, they're just heated. So that's no problems at all, but nice to have nevertheless. And then obviously you've got sort of your manual controls, which kind of take over, override the screen if you don't want to use the touch display. Obviously then you've got your air conditioning, you've got your heated front and rear screens. Down here, really nice, simple interior, but I love the twizzle. It looks really great. Obviously this goes down when the car's turned off. It really is nice. You've got your ice mode, turn your sort of traction control off. You've obviously got your sport button over here, uh, electronic handbrake cup holders you've got this kind of like walnut finish here which is a nice addition center rest working really well you've got usb connection under there and up here on a dash really nice kind of leather dash with some nice stitching down into sort of like a brush well not brush but kind of like a well it kind of is i guess like a kind of a brush kind of silver finish with the walnuts around as your button for your glove box Meridian upgraded sound system we've got some nice ambient lighting we've got set on blue at the minute you think you can change the color of that um but yeah very very nice indeed again just a nice contrast over there of the the silver the black and the walnut and with the blue shining through it's just very very nice coming up overhead we've got the black lining in here very good very clean you know it's not sagging in any areas you wouldn't expect it to but it's just worth pointing out it's a very good silly little thing the car smells good you know it smells really nice in here so there's no issues in terms of that you know it's not any really smoked in there's no animals in here Onto our steering wheel, leather steering wheel, very good condition. Cruise control to the right. Our sport design badge at the bottom. That's see that red green. That's obviously what we're missing on the side of the car, so we get that done. Controls over here for your sort of you know your sound system and your hands-free. Triptronic gearbox if you want to get a bit lively with the car. We've got automatic wipers, automatic lights. Uh, over here. Uh, check tire pressures. So I think we're running a bit low. We can see the tire pressure warning light over there. So it'll be picked up on the health check and we'll get that done. So car needs some diesel and we need to check those pressures, but that'll all be done as part of the service and the health check. Uh, but looking really good, you know, if we have a quick look through here at exact mileage on the car, uh, we are looking at 93,784. Ticks over really well. I've driven this car and it drives fantastic. It's so nice through the gearbox. It's so nice on the pull. It's got loads of power. It's very, very, very smooth. Um, really nice car. Drives straight, brakes well. So I can definitely vouch for this being a super car. The XF has always been so smooth to drive. Door cut down on the driver's side. Very clean, obviously, window operation. Again, you've got a continuation of that leather. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's have a look in the back. Nice little addition there, our sport design as you enter into the car. Into the rear, nice and clean as you'd expect. Doesn't look like it's been used much in the rear. Um, you know, there's no markings of like baby seats. There's no, uh, you know, the, the Alcantara looks like new. So it's very, very clean in here. You've got Isofix points hiding underneath these leather flaps here. So if you have got kids, you can get the sort of 
the car chairs in there and fixed in, no problems at all, but loads of space in the XF. And I think that's a big thing. The XCs are great. We've got an XC over there. We specialize in Jaguar Land Rover. And they're great cars. But I think the XF just gives you that extra, extra space if you need it. Big boot. People don't realize how long these boots are on the XFs. Uh, they really are big, lovely long boot in there. So again, it's just a nice practical saloon car because you've got space inside. It's still a nice little sporty number. It looks great, but at the same time, it's practical for the family. Dare I say, for the golf course, you know, you've got everything you need. So I hope that helps. Um, I hope that's a useful video. If you would like more sort of areas, specific areas of the car filmed or photographed, let us know. We'd love to help. If you want a delivery, just let us know your postcode. We'll get you an ETA and a price for delivery. Uh, equally, if you want to come down and see the car, we'd love to see you. We are by appointment, so do call ahead first. Call, message, WhatsApp, email. We'll always come back to you. Hopefully the video has been useful and uh, maybe we'll see you soon. Thanks very much.